How's it going everybody? This is Peter Bush. I am officially broke. With the recession in full swing, my portfolio down $188,000. 27% down. Am I worried? No. But I made this really cool sign. We'll make YouTube videos for Moomoo Moo referrals. You can get up to 10 free stocks now just for signing up and depositing various amounts of money. Please help me out. This is like the online influencer version of begging next to the freeway. Did you guys know that this bag of bird food is only $20 or so and it's 10 pounds worth of nuts, really high density calories and also a bunch of dried fruits. This can last me like an entire month. I don't recommend anyone to eat bird food, of course. This is not for human consumption, but to each their own. Seriously though, normal people would buy french fries at McDonald's for regular price at $3.50. I normally buy the $1 fry special at McDonald's, but now because I'm broke, I only buy it on special occasions like anniversaries. Don't let my girlfriend watch this. I'm even looking at McDonald's training videos. So if we go ahead and hit ice coffee. Just in case I might need to work there in the future. Check out my freezer. I got a bunch of fish cakes here. One steak, nothing else on the second section. Four taiyakis, a bag of dumplings, and these dried jujubes. The rest is actually my girlfriend's personal stash. Freeze packs and nothing at the bottom. Currently, I'm doing a food purge just so that I can eat everything before it spoils. Normally, I'm pretty frugal, but now that I am broke, can I be even more frugaler? I tell my girlfriend, let's eat out, but in the car, because it saves on tip. From the pandemic, I learned a new trick where some foods, they actually taste exactly the same as in the restaurant. Ramen, it tastes very, very different. For some reason, they undercook the ramen. By the time you put the soup in, it just does not taste the same at all. Xiaolongbao, things that are steamed and you have to eat right away, does not taste very good if you do takeout. Things that do taste great is fried chicken. This is ad hoc addendum fried chicken. I'm gonna see this. If you eat it right in the car, in the parking lot, it tastes exactly the same. Medium quality sushi, like Kura sushi, tastes the same, you might argue, what about the ambience? It's pretty nice ambience in the car too. Just find a shaded area with a nice view. There goes your ambience. This is the ultimate frugal dating accessory for eating in the car. I bought these from Daiso for only $1.50. Gas is so expensive. You just don't want to drive anywhere anymore. You can lump together all your errands, but it's still very expensive. So Krispy Kreme have been giving away free donuts. It's valued at $1.89 each during their hot hours. But if you do the calculation, it costs about $3 worth of gas to drive there. Now your $1.89 donut is not free at all. I'm like, dude, you need to at least give me three. I mean, four donuts in order for me to go there and get your free donuts. Same thing with meeting with friends that are maybe half an hour to an hour away. It's like, if you want me to go there, you actually have to buy me dinner to make it worth my while. It's not as crazy as it seems because for me to drive to San Francisco, it costs about $16 worth of gas, $6 worth of toll, and another $10 to $20 for parking alone. All this adds up to be roughly the cost of dinner. Of course, if you're invested in stocks, everyone is hurting. So you just don't end up meeting. Times are really hard. I used to eat prime rib eye cap. And now let me show you guys. I buy these from Costco and I can literally survive on these. Just eat one with some vegetables and some rice. Some people look at sardines as like the ultimate poor people food, but I find it really healthy because it has high in omega-3s. It's low in the food chain so that you're not eating a lot of mercury. You can go high baller and eat a bunch of fatty tuna or like Chilean sea bass or like really, really big lobsters, but all of those contains high levels of heavy metals. Seriously though, I don't actually eat this every single meal. I eat it maybe once every two weeks or so. And I think it's delicious. I actually look forward to eating these things. Everything got more expensive. Sneezing is more expensive because you know, tissue paper, pooping is more expensive. There is only one thing that got cheaper. I got cheaper. Oh, I remember the days when a 12-pack of Coke was only 
$2. Now look at this, three for $13 or roughly double. I always had this dream of going full blown monk mode where you consume almost next to nothing because you only need air, food, water, housing, internet, health insurance, car insurance, dining out two, three times a week and four to eight weeks of international travel. It's monk mode. Seriously though, there's something very alluring to me to not be dependent on the system, sort of like living off grid because every single dollar that you require to spend per month, you have to have earned it or you're earning it or you're going to be earning it in the future somehow. But if you step back and not get fooled by the marketing, you don't actually have to spend it in the first place. Therefore, you don't actually have to go and earn it. Therefore, you don't have to spend your life force to earn that money. Just look at this ad here. Fresh sockeye salmon filet for $19.99. You don't really need to eat this delicious looking salmon. I don't need your high omega-3 to 6 content ratio. Huh. I've been told that my frugalness is actually infectious. People see me so frugal to the bone. And then they're like, hey, you know, I can, I can get some of that. And they start saving money. And before you know it, they quit their jobs and they retire. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to sign up through my Moomoo referral. And as always, give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.